I got it. How? Well, How did she get that? I'm just a natural winner. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Aerating wine is a thing. Aerating whiskey, though, that, that that's not a typical practice that happens in whiskey circles. That's not a thing necessarily. Why is that? Because uh, air doesn't affect whiskey the same way it affects wine. Or does it? Because we've been tagged in so many TikToks about yeah. people aerating whiskey like this. Oh God, okay. It's not like a milk a phone. Sticking a frother, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the frother. This has become a bit of a fad, a trend on the on the interwebs there. Okay. And I'm looking at it and they're like, oh my gosh, this is like amazing. It makes it so smooth. What's going on? Yeah. Like it's just aerating. Uh, if you'll remember back in the day, we did an episode yeah. talking about the effect of air in whiskey over time. We did like a wine air, just a wine aerator. Yeah. It's like, surely this isn't gonna do anything with whiskey. Huh. Are you getting a difference? It really is slightly sweeter on the nose. I'll be damned if the wine aerator did make a big difference. You're fast uh, evaporating the higher proof alcohol. So oh. that's what's gonna change the flavor. So you think it's the evaporation of the alcohol, I not the mixing of the air into it that's opening up the aromas. That's because... my theory. So I wanna do a quick comparison back whenever we did a wine aerator and we're compared to this. Okay. Like, is that basically the same result that we found from wine, aer wine aerators way back in the day? Looks like a bird. It yeah. does. That's the wine aerator. Oh bird -a -bird -a -bird -a -bird -a -bird And then also we'll do a non aerated pour. First, are you finding any difference on the nose? Actually, the aerated one seems like it made the flavors kind of pop out a little more. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> nah, I think it's psychosomatic. So when I go through the most popular and favorite whiskeys in the Whiskey Tribe right now. Mm. And we're gonna do aerated and a non-aerated version with these very popular whiskeys in the community that the Magnificent <laughs> Bastards voted up. Oh yeah. That is so much air going in there right now. Yeah. I think in the TikToks we've been tagged okay, in. you're gonna give me a look out now? They get like, they call it be being fluffed. So you're making it fluffy. <laughs> Can I just say that you know these people also talk about auras. <laughs> <laughs> look. Hey, auras are real. <laughs> Yeah. Is it a noticeable difference? Now, whether or not you prefer the difference, rule yeah. number one in our community, the best whiskey is whiskey you like to drink the way you like to drink it. Now, if you like to drink your whiskey fluffed. You're a fluffer, that's okay. That's a lot of air. You ready? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's, well, it's yeah, cloudy. because it's now full of air molecules. It's fluffed. That is fluffed. There's a huge difference okay. because this one's now way sweeter and this one, Fluffier, <laughs> it's got like more of the wood and See alcohol. See how it's clearing notes. up though now? Yeah. The Here. air is moving to the top. Is there a difference? Yes. Maybe. <sighs> I guess. Dude, I'm getting the difference, man. <laughs> Look, we'll do the blind thing. Okay. Okay. Clearly Psalm level six. <laughs> <laughs> Did you prefer it unfluffed or fluffed? I liked unmolested. Molested. That's different than fluffing. <laughs> Invitation. What, what whiskey are we molesting next? I feel like there's innuendos in this conversation yes. oh, that I'm not okay. picking up on. Oh, okay. So on a porn set. Oh, God. <laughs> so I'm going to be pulling out the most popular whiskeys in our community right now. Mm. I'll be fluffing one and leaving the other unfluffed. All right, I'm ready. This is Red Breast 12. Guessed it. There's a mark that I know you guys don't, so I know which is which. Okay, I know already. This one is the aerated. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so you're finding that much of a difference. Yeah. Whether or not you're right, we'll see. Let's go ahead and taste them. Yeah, it just, I'm doubling down on that. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so why are you determining that's the aerated one? It felt like the particles were just like all over the place. And this one, they're more like chilled out. They're just like, oh, we're here, but we're right here. This one, they're like, I'm all up here. And then when you try it, it also tastes that way in your mouth. Okay. Okay. Science. <laughs> the one on the left feels softer, okay. a little more muted. So if that's the impact that is created from aeration, then that's it. If that's just what Red Breast 12 Spoil tastes like and I don't remember, we're talking single digit percentiles. Okay, so you're, it's subtle. You're saying it's subtle? Yeah. So both of you prefer the one on your right? Yeah. Yes. Unfluffed. There you go. Knew like, it. Yeah, you like it unfluffed. I was right. Okay, whether or not the fed, I don't know. We, we, it's too early to call a trajectory. Let's put that off to the side. I'm gonna get in. 
All right, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> fluffed. I think the right one's fluffed. What? All right, it's just a little bit softer on the palate. The noses are pretty close. It is softer on the palate. So I'd say if I was going off a nose, I would have picked this one. Mm -hmm. If I'm going off a palate, I would have picked this one. So what are you going off of? Like I said, the difference in this thing is so f***ing single digity. She, dude, she's that it's going just it a within guess. seconds. Yeah, I know she is. With but confidence. Confidence <laughs> does not always equal accuracy. Yes, it does. Yeah, uh, I think she I'm was go. right and you were wrong. Boom! Yeah. Was it left was confidence the mark? Confidence is key. The nose on the left was softer mm -hmm. and the nose on the right had more interesting vibrance, but by like three points, four points, really? maybe. I mean, smell these things. I'd say 15%. Okay. 15%. Because I notice it immediately. Like you can tell. Okay. Yeah. On the fluffed nose, mm. it is much more lively. Like mm -hmm. the oak and the tannins are jumping out of the glass. You get to the nose of the unfluffed and it's uh, more tame and settled, a little bit sweeter. Right. Guess what card I'm thinking of. Queen of Hearts. Yeah. Ha, that's it, that's the whole thing. Guess what card you're thinking of. Diamonds of, of, of sevens. No. What? This episode is sponsored by NordVPN. So Nord, you can imagine it like a teleportation device for your internet connection. It's super easy to use across all of your devices and virtually teleport that connection anywhere on the planet so you're not region locked from really cool experiences on your streaming platforms like your Netflix and whatnot. And two, you wanna do it in a safe and secure way. You can tell Nord, hey, connect to the internet from Germany because there's cool things that you can't, you are not helping <laughs> so much. So another cool feature with Nord is you can push a button and teleport human beings far, far away from you. For example, there's a really cool series I want to see in Germany right now. So with Nord, I can go beep, boop, boop, boop. What? Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Oh my God. We're in Scotland. Nope. You don't get to go to Scotland. They've made it so incredibly simple for you to experience the additional features that a rock solid time-tested VPN has to offer. Right now you can get a huge discount on a two year plan plus four additional months for free whenever you go to nordvpn.com slash whiskey tribe. The next whiskey we have the Brick Lottie. This is the classic body here. And one's fluffed, one's unfluffed. What have we got on the nose? Got it. I, I think I have it. <laughs> oh, is that? You won. That's that the thing that was supposed to happen earlier? Yeah. Okay, I think I have this. Wow, we'll check. this is the least different of the of them so far. It okay. is? Yeah. I agree with that. It See? Is. Mm. But I know which one it is. Uh, look, here's the thing. I know. Yeah. I don't doubt Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know. I was gonna say right has been fluffed and left is unfluffed. Trusting your instincts in this exercise is key. Run is the definition of trusting her instincts. <laughs> It's the only reason I've made it this far. Raw instinct. Okay, the left one is is the one that you mixed up with air. I said the right, I think. Brianna's is right. I am? Ah! Yeah! Yes! Wow! wow! Awesome! Come on, bring it in. So she's a master fluffer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, what, what? You don't think that left palette tastes softer? So maybe my marker's wrong. Okay. I keep I, going back to looking for the see, softer. Mm. I actually thought that the left palette that's what confused me, because I thought it tasted stronger. Really? Because normally... I think I'm broken, guys. So what we're finding at this point is across categories, if you're fluffing your whiskey, will it make a difference? Yes, but the difference will be much more dramatic in some pours versus others. You know right. what the difference between those is? Mm. Is the new oak ones had, oh, a higher, yeah. had a higher impact than the used oak ones. Okay, do you point. think so, there's potentially a pot still, column still? Because in like the bourbon, you're gonna have a, a column still as part of the, the stripping run. Oh, Next. do you have... A Primal Spirits, that may be an interesting thing to compare. Oh, making. we do, yes. Yeah. This is a good determination as to whether or not the still is a big factor in the fluffing, or if it's going to be the barrel. This is the pot still we make. Oh, nice. What will eventually become single malt whiskey. It's ours. Ooh, we did pot budget. still. I have yeah. no idea on this Unaged. One. Yeah. This one's... Is it close? They, like, all, I can't really distinguish it. There's a difference between these two. Oh, there is. But now I'm doubting what caused the difference. Mm. Can I say on the palate, the one on the left is softer, but on the nose it's sharper. Okay. Palate is more dense on the right. Okay, so what are you saying? 
I feel like it's because there's no barrel impact on here. Mm -hmm. I no, think no, that's so all those other flavor chemicals don't exist. What has so maybe fluffing is interacting mostly with the things that are teased out of the barrel. I don't think so. I, I think do. we're just getting more to play with. So instead of having to figure out the impact on 10 chemicals, we're getting to see the impact on a thousand chemicals and so it's more obvious. Hmm. I don't know. Left or right, which is fluff? I guess I would say the right. I'm just gonna make one up. Left was fluff. Ran is right again. I was? Did you say right? I did say right. <laughs> yeah, good, okay. <laughs> The exact same mash bill, but this is the column still version versus Dude, the Dude, I don't freaking know. Nose taste, we'll move on. I can't tell the difference. I can't either. I'm gonna say left. I'm gonna say it's right. Fluffed. It's fluffed. Okay, left is fluffed, but both of you guys get no points because you didn't say it with confidence. Yeah, no, I know. Well, I get half a point because I was technically right. We have green spot. Oh, yes. Irish whiskey. Daniel's left. Left, right. Shoot! Right is the, the left one. Right is the I'm left one. I'm gonna say right. Okay. I don't know. Why are you both saying right? Well, he's yeah. confused. <laughs> well, nose is more subdued on the left. It is. I'm getting the, the more sweetness again, though, on the left. Oh. Brianna tasted mm, nice. the right. Daniel tasted left. Now Brianna tasted left. Daniel tasted the right. So they're ah! There's more character in the palate on the right. It's softer on the left. The nose on the left more flattened, nose on the right, more vibrant. So across the board, this has more going on. Yeah, I prefer the one on the right. Okay. I think the right is the fluffed, Which do you but prefer? I like the left a little oh, bit. Oh, wow, okay. okay. All right, all right. The one on the right is fluffed, mm. so you're both right, but you actually like the fluffed one better. I do, for the first time. And it was yeah. already a whiskey that you really enjoy. Yeah. Green Spot Irish Whiskey. Again, I'm gonna argue. No. Five points difference. How much difference? Maybe. I would say this one is less than the bourbons. Okay. Well, then let's go to a bourbon. We're at the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Oh, it's a good whiskey. Very popular in the whiskey trap. I think <laughs> right. Oh. Right is oh. fluffed. So yeah. You're getting a big difference. Yeah. So bourbons make the big difference. Maybe it's the new oak. I think right is screwed with. Both of you are wrong. Darn it! Really? The left. Start. The left. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so let me go on record now saying what this has proven is, yeah. does it make a difference? Sure, maybe varying Some degrees. Some categories it more does, so than It does, because these are different. Is it a predictable difference? Yeah. No. Now, now here's the point where I kind of get excited about it, because it was just a predictable thing where, hey guys, aeration softens whiskey and it neutralizes flavors and makes mm. it less interesting. Mm -hmm. Do that if you want. No. No. Now it's an, a worthwhile tool to go yeah. exploring to see what happens to a whiskey because it could liven it up, it could neutralize it. Who knows? It could make it a whiskey that you really enjoy. It could make something that you enjoy even more. I save these for last for obvious oh, reasons. I I'm want thinking, to do Ardbeg. Uh, let's do Ardbeg. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah, yeah, this so is good. my go-to Ardbeg. They're bag. so good. Woo! Ooh, uh, this is, I don't know though. It's got a punch in both of them. It's a slightly sharper nose on the right. Sharp, I mean, That's specifically sharp. That's kind of sharp. what I thought as well. Same note, same exact tasting nose or, or nose notes, but sharper. Hmm, but what does that mean? I know? don't know, I'm you know so what I lost. Mean? Yeah, I have no idea. Cause you're right, it's sharper, but this one feels more like, like a circle of things going to your nose. This circle one feels more like a stab life. going to the nose. God, I don't know, man. More but, sharpness and more going on on the right. See, I'm. So the question is. For palette, I'm the opposite. I feel like oh, this really? one's got sharper on the left, and this one's more subdued on the right. No, I still stand by. It's a little more edgy on the right. I don't know anything anymore. The scotches, the scotches. It turns out. Yeah, because you're. Don't. <laughs> no. What do you prefer? The right one. You prefer the right one. Mm -hmm. What do you prefer? <sighs> Look, the answer similar. is the one on the left is the one you prefer. I prefer the one on the right. You prefer <laughs> as the most Brianna thing that's ever happened. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no. Uh, you both prefer the fluffed whiskey. The right one is the fluffed one? Yes. More sharp? Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Aeration, the thing that seems to be more predictable is bourbon. Bourbon is gonna have that new oak impact. And wine, one of the reasons why you're aerating the wine is to tease out those tannins, right. which is our, you know, those barrel bitter notes. So maybe that's the commonality between wine and bourbon is the More barrel tannins. forward stuff. Yeah. And maybe the aeration is playing well with the woody new oak that mm. happens in bourbons. And once that's, you get into yeah. 
the scotches and the Irish, you're, you're talking about used oak. Yeah. And the aeration doesn't have as much of those things to play with. Either way, I think it's a worthwhile thing, even though it's a fad. It's a fad that actually has something, you know, to poke at. Right. Let's just say though, if I went over to someone's house, yeah. and they poured us some whiskey, yeah. and then they got out of Dude. <laughs> Dude, okay, oh. like, that sounds fun. Yeah. If you're going over to somebody's house and they give you two pours, yeah. and you're doing the comparison? Yeah, because that that's a fun. game. Yeah. And yeah. games are, you know, that's fine. You're See, gonna judge me if I pull this out? So listen. <laughs> totally. Listen. What if it was black? Oh man. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, you magnificent bastards. If you haven't been paying attention, then we just kicked off the quarterly challenge in the Whiskey Tribe. This is a dry week, an optional break from drinking alcohol to reset the palate, make sure that we don't have any dependency issues going on. Look at this dry boy back here. He's so dry. We're gonna be in dry. So technically it started yesterday, uh, Friday at noon, if you're watching this day of release, and it's gonna go on until next Friday, the 15th at noon. And if you're on the Patreon, we will see you at the drink stream this coming Friday. In between now and then, not cheers. <laughs>